Triple down. Up, what is up Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some footage from an in-house Resolute on Resolute scrimmage uh, that we did. We uh, basically did a random team generator online and uh, randomly generated teams and did best two of three uh, over and over and over again and it was it was a ton of fun. We really just, this is not, these are not sweats. Nice little quick scope with NLB here. Uh, these are not sweats, okay, not at all. This was um, friends fighting friends for fun, and uh, I'm going to get a nice uh, no-scope, a jumping no-scope right there with NLB. But uh, anyways, these are not proper sweats. We did this in the Inferno playlist, uh, because you get moments like this where you turn and you're like, oh, oh hi. <laughs> and um, it was just so much fun having no radar, jerking around with friends. And with the Titan, it made it so much fun because I could do all kinds of flanking maneuvers using the mobility of the Titan. You're going to see a lot of that in this video. Just getting around the map super, super fast. Lots of really quick flanking maneuvers um, that are done at the right times. So here's a shoulder charge fail. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap, awkward. But uh, anyways, like I said, these are not proper sweats. Uh, just in this next clip, count the number of melee kills. I started off this match with a ton of melee kills using the Titan mobility to get around. But uh, anyways, so a lot of people ask me, uh, you know, Vanguard, when are you going to do more sweats? I want to see you compete in sweats. And uh, I've sweated against uh, competitive clans before. I'll probably do it again. But uh, by and large, I, I have a lot of distaste <laughs> for the sort of competitive community, the sweaty community. Um, I'm not going to name names, obviously, but it, it just seems like every time I get involved in sweats and stuff with the people in the sweaty the community, uh, someone ends up insulting someone else. There's just so much talk and trash talk, people insulting each other, and it's just, that's not me. I don't like that. And uh, it doesn't doesn't really jive well with me. So anyways, I try to stay away from it because I don't like drama, and it's a video game. And it seems like there's just so much drama in those sweaty communities. Um, and, and that's, I mean, there are obviously exceptions to that rule. There's some really great people in the com uh, c competitive community in Destiny. Um, but by and large, is, I don't like the scene. But uh, anyways, just having a lot of fun here last night with my Resolute brothers and sisters. And uh, I had a number of fails that were kind of entertaining to me. But um, here I'm going to show you some flanking maneuvers. So I get tagged early. I come up from bottom mid. And now, now I know they're in this back left room, so I'm actually going to jump over the doorway and instantly push so that I can uh, flank and pinch from behind. So that they've got to sort of focus their attention on two different, uh, you know, opposite facing doors. And it causes enough confusion that we can get in there. Now, this kill right here, <laughs> this was, I didn't even know she was here. I was going for the special box and I just shoulder charged to turn the corner. And uh, my knee goes straight into her face. I didn't know she was back there at all, so that was kind of, kind of funny. Now here, here's a fail. I'm like, oh, I so I want a shoulder charger. Get back here, lovable. I miss one. I awkwardly miss two, and then I'm like, crap. So uh, I back up for the revive. I get one kill. I get the revive for the overshield, and then I just leave him to die. <laughs> I just ran. I'm like, nope. I'm, I'm so out of here. And here, I was denied the shoulder charge triple kill. So I get two shoulder charge kills. I go for the third. I take the regular punch, go for the super, and she gigglingly shuts me down. We had a lot of fun because we switched it up a lot. Every time we went into a new match, uh, we would sort of make up our own oh, rules. Okay. okay, so this this time you have to use an auto rifle, or this time you have to use a pulse rifle. And so I yeah. busted out my Aegis of the I'll Kel, kill this me. old... Um, pulse rifle from the prison of elders yes and uh, this thing is actually it's actually a really good gun um, I wish I had more PvP skills um, but I used to use this thing in trials back when it was viable back when you could uh, when the year two stuff didn't come into play yet right now I'm chasing Rex down I'm like I want the third uh, for the shoulder the shoulder charge triple but we can't get him and um, instantly I push the opposite spawn where I know he's going to spawn just using that Titan mobility. You can hear him freak out uh, when we get there. 
I got him like I no. I also got to pull out my Saturnian rapier from year one. Now this thing has Firefly and Outlaw on it. It's actually a great little scout. 61 to the head, you can see there, and the Firefly is proggin', making beautiful fireworks. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, here's a nice uh, flanking maneuver. I told you I had a couple of these. So I'm pushing up. I want the, the rest of the team. I get Prime. Quickly just skate out of the room. Skate over to the uh, the pipe. And while my teammates are back where I initially started, I can come in here, catch them off guard, throw that grenade on the back wall, get a quick headshot with a scout rifle, and then trust that my teammates can uh, mop him up because he, <laughs> he had barely anything left at that point. Here's a nice uh, panic quick scope for a kill there. But uh, I highly suggest, I highly suggest, if you want to have some more fun in Destiny, um, get some of your friends together. Go to a random team generator online. Just Google search it. And you'll find them. You can plug in some names, type in some names, and uh, it'll randomly generate the teams for you. And then you can um, set up these little scrimmages where you just play against your teammates. What's the, it's going to do a couple of good things for you. First and foremost, you're going to be having fun because playing video games with friends is always more fun. But uh, another thing that it's going to do for you is it's going to help you with your communication. Uh, you're going to be forced to sort of make call-outs, and, and there are no universal call-outs yet for this game. I mean, there are some names for rooms and stuff that are stuck, but for the most part, it's just whatever you and your teammates call it. So get some rhythm together with some teammates. Start thinking about how you can make approaches together. Laugh and have fun. This is a video game, after all, and you should be enjoying it. And uh, when there's not a lot on the line like this, when you're just playing with friends, you can pull out some of these old weapons. I'm using my longbow, you know, the Cetarian Rapier, the Aegis of the Kel. Um, I pulled out the Devil You Know at one point. We just, it, it's just, nice. it's just fun. It, it makes it a brand new experience all over yeah, again. So I highly suggest that you guys take the time to do this. It's pretty simple. What you're going to do is once you get your three teams, uh, or your three teams, your two teams of three, or you could do sixes, I suppose, but once you get your two teams of three Ooh, in nice. orbit, go to the same playlist. It, we did Inferno because we knew the population would be it's low enough there. that it, it wouldn't take it's long for us to find right each now. other, and it didn't. I mean, there's only right one right time now. that it took a little while, but for the most part, we found each other really quickly every time. So what you're going to do is you're going to have someone, in, you're all going to be in the same party, um, all six of you, but in two separate teams. And then you're going to have the two people who are closest geographically from each team be the hosts. And they're going to start the search at the same time. Just have someone count it down in the party chat. You're going to start the search at the same time. One team is going to should see um, searching for guardians in the upper left. The other team should at some point see evaluating guardians. And then it should jump straight to six of six. At that point, you're going to need to check the roster. And um, if you get each other, great. If not, what you need to do is just go ahead and... Um, if you can, press B or circle, whatever it is, to back out. And if it's already locked you into the match, the quickest and easiest way to, to reset it is just to press Start or Options and go Change Character. And then uh, you just pick your same character, hop back up into orbit, and join on each other, and try it again. It doesn't take long. And, um, yep, rinse and repeat till you get each other. Go do this, guys. Have some fun. Mix it up. Make it a fresh experience. Um, at this point, while we're waiting on new content, it's up to us to make the experience fresh, not the devs. And uh, I wouldn't expect any major changes in the immediate future, so that sort of rests on our shoulders. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. We'll catch you in the Crucible.